hello world i will be back into this new video tutorial with the osp pro yeah uh, i remember showing you from our previous video on how to get started with the uh, python api now in this video simply i'm going to show you again today in this video how to get started with the voice api with python now i'm uh, just going to be breaking this down very well for you guys to get be started now uh, maybe for that i have to remind you if you happen not to watch my previous video and you haven't yet yet subscribe to my youtube channel just go to youtube and then uh you type you just go to youtube and then you type uh osp uh, pro so make sure you do that so that you get started with me and get this chance on how to to come up with this application so when you just see osp uh, something like that click on always this will say take you to my link and you should find yourself watching up the other previous video which i happen to make on getting started with the uh, next more uh, api and then also how to use python with next more sms api now today we're going to look on to how to get started with voice api and how to set it onto our machine and then we we'll get started now maybe before doing all those i have to first make you guys know that uh we need to do the following before getting started make sure you have uh, one on us uh just go to your machine make sure you have python installed and make sure if you go to your command prompt you should have this full thing also installed in your machine so you just also go to your command prompt and type pip if you're using one version of python if you're using more than two version you say pip pip uh, pip 3 is like i'm using python 3 i'm saying going to say pip 3 install for me uh maybe next month so make sure you have to say pip 3 install from next month so for me i have it installed so it will just go say the, 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 the stuff you're installing is really uh, installed in this machine that's what i will simply say to my side because i already have that installed in my machine now to you guys you'll find that it's not yet yet happen to install if at all you don't have it yet so like i've said mine is really installed so you guys make sure yours is installed in the machine and we get started now the next thing that we have to do right now at the moment after down doing that you can always do this by the time one of us is uh, import from me one of us next month. Uh, I'm just going to say uh, YouTube underscore Facebook because I have some great friends of mine on Facebook who may always be interested on this. Now, uh, there's some few things that you have to do here so that you get to do things going, and I don't want to waste time. I'm um, just going to go straight first. But the first thing you want to do, make sure you go to the nextmore.com. Just go to nextmore. Just type the nextmore.com. Uh, this will still take you to their platform where you're going to be registering yourself and get started. So make sure you go there, get registered, and get started. Now just go into here and say try if you want to try or if you want contact sale. Where if you want to use for sale. I remember last time telling also there's also another one called Africa Talk. If I told you from Uganda, it's also a very good API which you can embed into your given application. So you can also go and use any of the two. It will still work for you if you use the same method and the procedure that I'll do here. So with this also you can say start building or get started by logging in or by clicking on login which then will tell you to register if I told you are not a man. Now uh, that's it. Let me just take a straight back again what I've been doing right now at the moment. I have my a simple API which I've been to create. Now I'll click on Python here and this get it started. I'll just click on Python and create one on us the API, create the path, things like this. This is what you need to do. So the first thing which you're going to do to import at the moment, uh, after making sure that you have this installed in your machine, now I'm just going to say initialize the library. To initialize the library, then place you're going to import, and then you're going to use this one also for printing. So I already have my command here. I already have my command here. This is it. So I just need to to, to, to customize this. I'm going to explain this at once as I'm trying to do this a uh, simple project with you or simple program with you. So that to get ourselves going together if possible so that it will take a lot of time now we have this part print import print now this one simply is going to be enabling us to uh to to, to first of all to print that given details of the given uh, user i mean of the of the of the text to to what to, 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 to 
of text to speech that's what that statement simply means now remember uh, here we need to also talk to a client or whatever debatable thing defined there whatever thing defined there which is going to be uh, basing on a given client or given information that a user will need to, 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 to collaborate with the API we are going to fetch from this uh, system so that's it now here there's something that we need to talk to we need to get the application uh, one on us underscore id which application id is once going to be setting us to one on us still the application id of a given uh, a phone or a, of a given a user something like that then also we need now at the moment after then we need something called uh, we shall need something called uh one of the private key now on the time when you'll happen to to, to 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 create your stuff and then you click on one mass uh, let me check here when it's the time you'll click on one mass uh a create let me just show this let me just try to move this off again and I explain to you well now you check here when i just click it down you will see a private key downloaded here it's created i think you can see the private key created here you see now that private key will happen just create right now is the one you're going to be using in this application or is the one you're going to be using in application so uh here where we happen to put this this is the other let me show you this is that's the uh what you have to paste into this application here when known as application id because application id should be an id generated from the, the stuff so i'm not going to take a lot of time let me just copy this and again explain to you at once since I've already happened to explain to you how the codes tend to flow. Now, I, I'm just going to paste this around here. Let me move that off. Paste that there. Now, this is our application ID. But we need to, uh, to import one as the path. You get? Now, before importing the path, I mean, first take you straight to the application. Uh, right now, if you try to run it, you shall get an error, which then I'll explain to you later on how to come up with the given part. Now, we need also one on as the next, uh, right, and I'll on the next more call. So that we are given you, uh, we have uh, some kind of voice call in our given application. So you can just copy this piece of code which you have down here. Just copy that off and then you paste in your application. Then I will tell you what to do later on on the application. After pasting that, we also need to make one of us making a call using the next API. Now to fetch that API, I mean the next API, remember this is going to be the phone number or the phone details of a given user by the time of creation. Okay? And then the other people which I've said we're going to text text to 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 forward to, to, to speech. It is going to be responding, picking to uh talking to this kind of uh the first very imported variable we happen to pick from the uh from the next one. So we have to come back here and we try to pick it up from there. And that's how it is like. Okay. So uh if I happen to finalize this, we just finalize this and then I happen to get started with you. So we already have that in with us we already have that with us now at the moment if you try to run this application we shall get some error because uh, not if not this the thing is that not all stuffs are really complete up yet uh, we don't have everything complete for us at the moment so what we're going to do uh, this is what we have so far at the moment if you have really been following me up now i need to this may not work for you because it will only send a message to my phone not yours and the command of codes, every much have the codes, it will still send back to me. And every much you put your phone number, the phone number should be a very verified during the time of registration since you're using trial. And now if I try to happen to run this, we should get an error. Why? Because they didn't happen to specialize uh, on, the, on the information well, because we need to specify the path where the private key is being set to. Now, before setting that, remember the private key is going to be communicating to our real computer. So you will need to do this. You need to first of all come and import one known as the OS, your operating system. Now when you open to op op do that, it will still bring error because you, it doesn't know where that that file is located. So what we're going to do, I happen to create up my, my project folder. And my project, my folder, and my, inside my project folder, I happen to paste on that path. So uh, this is it. And I need to download. We have this download here, which is the primary key one, blah, blah. So I may just try to... So this is the primary key one. So this is the key which I happened to download the first time. So what am I going to do at the moment? I'm just going to set the path where this key, that key is located. 
So I happen first of all import the OS because the OS is only going to be in position to enable me import that primary key. Now, this is what you have to do if I told you to utilize this application. So I don't need to copy here because when you copy from here, the path will only be this, which the file will say I don't know that part where that thing is located. So to make life simple, go back to you. I'm going to just take you straight to my file project into my uh, Python stuff uh, project. So underneath my Python projects, I have one known as a Python SMS API. So underneath there, I have this first this thing here. So I'm going to just copy this path. This is the path I'm copying. But remember, it's showing me backwards. It's not the the, 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 the structure is back, not going to be in front. So I'm going to change this path of code of ours because you would have defined as a variable somewhere, and then you just paste it there. The primary key is copy that very path. I give us something you happen to come back on, on top of here and then fracture this code and say maybe path you get path underscore to underscore maybe private underscore key is equal to that key you are going to paste here but remember it's it is still the same scenario it's still the same thing so we don't need to waste a lot of time so what i'm going to do i'm just going to move this and i paste that there now remember we need to change this from back the phone like that and we can either decide to use one or two so i'm going to also change this like that to pick osp i change that to that also change this to that and also change that to that now uh, we need not to stop there because uh, we need to pick another to pick the real you know the real the real stuff which is which is which is that so uh that's it uh, if you shake right now this is what we have so if we save this now i wish you guys you can hear from my phone they are going to give me a call right now uh right now i'm going to get a call because those guys are now going to call my phone they're going to call my phone let me just try to add the volume so that you can you guys you can hear what will happen so if i save this program and i hope there's no error you should get a call from your phone so let me just put nearer i hope you guys are going to, you guys are going to see the calls trying to you know authentication error you shake that unwind that puzzle you shake shake that uh you shake that shake that shake that authentication error you shake on this very well i think that's what i did you shake from my previous application hope there's nothing i've happened to change Try to run it again. Authentication error. So if this authentication error, let me just do like this. Uh, let me just try to move this off from here because now it's like, oh, I tend to rename this one. Let me rename it. Oh, I just leave it as it is. I just come back here. I pick this one. Okay. I copy that. Just copy it as it is. And I'm going to paste it to the other side in our project. Because if it's giving us error that implies to use, to me this one. Because this is the what we copied right now as we are trying to make uh, this, uh, this stuff. So I'm try to move this one off. Paste that. I wait for that to bring the other one which will bring for us for us that so that's what we have right now uh, shake again in this application so let me just save now and try to shake again if there's no error hope there's no error now play that i'm good to go now we have just finalized that so wait just a call i'm just going to be hearing a call from my phone hope you guys you can hear it with me together just wait a bit just now get started very soon because bouncing and showing and uh kind of the thing is okay so i hope he's gonna call me hope they're gonna call me so that i can show you or I respond to you so wow that's great so so hope you guys you can hear a call
Yeah, voice call. Just a call. Hope you guys you can hear that. <laughs> it was just kind of fun. So if you really feel this video uh it's nice for you, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh just uh, once more before I wind up. Uh, that's how you can always pick up your key and then you try to s uh, make up a simple uh, uh, Python program or especially using Nexmo. I just love their product because it is straightforward and it is uh, easy for beginners. I just believe so. Then for you guys from Uganda and Africa, I advise us to go to Africa Talks. They are really cool guys. Those have some cool kind of you know empowering communication solution across Africa. No, I think it's really, really cool. So you get some time go and watch how they happen to make their the application so that you can always utilize it in your in the given system because that's how the, the thing is made on uh, and that's how how the th the, the stuff are so guys if you find this video uh, nice for you make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel because uh, otherwise if you happen to miss that you may not happen to be in the position next time to to get the new videos how on upload so guys make sure you subscribe to my channel and get to be started so if i like i've said to you you initially make sure you go to nixmo create an account with them just for free i just like and even see my mind is trial uh they, they even tell me to update to get so uh, and even like i said to you, you can always go for trial understand first of all that the how that this is the their, their stuff works then you can always buy later alone if at all you are interested now if the same thing with my friend from uh these friends of mine from uh, from where I am in Uganda here, you can also go for Africa Talks and then just log into your account with them. You can also uh, utilize their APIs. It's very really cool. You can also go and tend to utilize the Africa API, whereby you can also utilize how to get started with them. So, guys, if you find this video interested, or if you are really uh, find it nice. You can also go and check their voice API. They also have them, so that you can always so get started with them. So uh, their thing is also straightforward. So if you guys you find it interested, just go and start build, log in to their plan, and then you get started. So guys, thanks for watching. Love you all. Wish you a nice time. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. May God bless you. Thank you.